Fundamentals of the Game with Coach B. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what we're talking about now. What's the first thing you do when you enter the gym? Most of us enter the gym and the first thing we do is fire the ball up at the hoop. Why you ask? Because it's fun. Which brings us to today's lesson, shooting. Lesson number one, don't wear a hat you dummy. A, it gets in the way of your shot. B, it gives you terrible hat head. Much better. Before we get started and get some shots up, Let's check in with our Lithuanian correspondent. Handsome boy in Lithuania. If you follow all of Coach B's instructions, you'll probably end up in the NBA. At the very least, you'll end up overseas, like me. We're going to make sure you're prepared by giving you a little Lithuanian lesson. Let's go. Dear Dr. House, what is your real name? Gedrus. Yeah. <laughs> I know his name now. How do you say, go Spurs? Pirmin Spurs. How do you say San Antonio, Texas in Lithuanian? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Got that one. Texas. -us. Texas. -us. How do you say Red Rocket in Lithuanian? Red Rocket? Red Rocket. Rodona Raketa. Rodona Raketa! <laughs> what is the, the longest Lithuanian word? Who is the greatest basketball player of all time? Ever? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Fred Berry. Tell me when the cow. Tell me when the cow. Tell me when the cow. When you hear the word San Antonio, Texas. Cowboys. Cowboys? It's about right. I think of uh, the Spurs. Shawn Michaels. The fundamentals of shooting a basketball can be broken down using the acronym BEEF. Where's the BEEF? B E E F. BEEF. BEEF. It's what's for dinner. Each letter stands for a word that represents an important shooting fundamental. Let's start with B. B is for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If you want to make shots, you need to eat a balanced breakfast in the morning. And now a word from Wheaties Box Tim. Look 
again. The tickets are now a championship ring. Anything is possible when you don't skip breakfast and eat your Wheaties. I'm on a horse. I hate Wheaties. <laughs> Next we have E, which stands for earplugs. When you are shooting, people are going to try and make you miss. You stink! Brick! Yeah, boy! Nobody you're loves ugly. you! Miss it? Come on, Just block it all out, like you're wearing earplugs. Don't listen to them. You hear nothing. Sometimes, I touch my ears to remind myself to block it out. Brick! Miss it? Stink! Nobody loves you! Come on, Yeah, boy! Next up is another E, which stands for EARN. You earn the skill of being a great shooter through practice and repetition. It takes hard work to reach the top, unless it's a monarchy, in which case it just takes being born into the right family. And finally we have F, which stands for FREE YOUR MIND. Thank you, En Vogue. I'm talking about stepping into the shot with a clear and confident mind. B, the ball. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Now watch me as I put everything together and demonstrate the beef philosophy. do a little ballad about one of the greatest basketball players of all time, one of the great humanitarians from the NBA. This is called The Ballad of Minute Bowl. Who's that man over there? He's so incredibly tall. Who's a man who can block the shots as high as City Hall? Who's a man when he enters a game the other team goes out of control? Who's the greatest basketball player in the game of basketball? Manute. Manute Bowl. Oh, Manute. Manute Bowl. Oh, Manute. Manute Bowl. Oh, Manute. Manute Bowl. Seven foot one. No, seven foot two. Seven foot three, no seven foot four, no seven foot five, no seven foot six, almost seven foot seven. Ball tending. Uh, who's that man when he comes to town? He brings a few more thousand fans. And when he blocks his shots, they end up somewhere near the nosebleed stands. And when he walks across the street, he interrupts the local radio bands. Who is the only NBA player to have killed a lion with just his bare hands? Manute. Manute. 